I actually told my parents I would be coming here for three years to train and here I am 25 years later and it's all about the community that has kept me here. I think it's one of the more loving and engaging and uh, collective communities that I've ever been a part of. And you combine that kind of friendship and uh, collaborative fun way to learn with the outstanding discovery that exists and it's just a gold mine. Everyone's really supportive and so they recognize that we all start from somewhere and hopefully end up doing something great as well. But it's you have a lot of support while you're here. Uh, the first day I was here, um, I got to do a, a massive uh, brain aneurysm surgery. Uh, the chief resident walked me and taught me through uh, the entire surgery. I got to do more that day than I had previously done in any day of med school, including other rotations. So I think um, when we look at our residents coming in and as they develop in our program, we do have a variety of interests um, that residents have, and we feel like we can really support those interests. And what it is in terms of the Mass General Brigham environment is it really can support all these different needs, which makes it a very special place to train. Our residents are um, very mindful of making sure that everybody is heard and respected, and that includes our trainees and our faculty and our staff and our patients. And I think it's a topic that comes up in um, almost every conversation that we have, whether it's formal or informal. I think many people don't realize how quickly medicine is advancing. And because of that, it's even more important to train in a place where people are developing those innovations. We have access not only to uh, the people um, that are making the advances, but those people have the research funding to do the research and support the trainees um, in doing that work and advancing their careers. I've been at Mass General Brigham now for 20 years, and what has kept me here has been several things. One has been the relationships, relationships I've formed with friends and colleagues. One of the things I look forward to is coming to work and seeing people that I enjoy working with. It's the relationships with the trainees. We have some of the best and brightest trainees from around the world. They challenge me. They make me think. I learn from them just as I hope that they, they learn from me. I came here originally, I, I was so lucky to have um, a few really exceptional mentors in medical school. And I would say I was nervous that, you know, was I gonna find sort of the same footing here? And it's been even more incredible. Like I would say I now have a mentorship network of individuals, not just one or two folks, but you know, there's this person who I go to specifically about research things. This would be my personal mentor. This person I just go to to talk about, like what is it like to be a woman in medicine? Um, you know, this person, is here to help me learn about grants. These are people that I, I could tell were interested in, in furthering my professional development in a very real way. Um, there was a lot of trust right from the get-go um, in explaining my interest to them. They were able to work with me to, to, to help me form an interest, really, um, and help me create that vision for what I now, you know, think that my career is gonna wind up being. It's very fun to see people discovering what their love is, the area that they want to really focus in. We've seen so many people change their mind once they learn what all the different opportunities are. When our residents and fellows arrive here for their training, there is just there are so many opportunities for them to explore anything that they're interested in. I think for trainees that want to make an impact, there are so many different ways to do it, and we attract trainees who want to do it in their own unique way. And I think Mass General Brigham programs uh, realize that, and we're not here to train trainees to all come out the same way. Um, we're committed to finding out what each individual trainee wants to do in their career, understand how they can make a difference, and really encourage them and help support them in, in designing a training pathway that will allow them to do that. From a clinical perspective, it's the experience taking care of patients here is really unparalleled. Patients come from all over the world, all over the country. They show up at our door and they say, you know, we're here for the best and we, you know, we have this problem and nobody else has been able to solve it. Or we have this problem and we're so scared and you guys, you know, we, we trust you to solve this. Boston is, I, to me, is sort of the perfect mix. Um, it is a medium-sized city, so there are tons of opportunities for folks who are interested in urban life. I also think one of the 
advantages of Boston is it's very easy to get out of the urban part and get to the um, ocean. You can go to the mountains, you can go hiking. Um, so it's a very uh, easy way to balance both that need to get out into nature, but also the convenience of living in a city. I think that both the Brigham and Mass General do a really good job of prioritizing physician wellness in general, not just the house staff, but also faculty. I walked through the doors this morning and it felt like this, it's right, this is home, this is where I grew up. You know, basically I um, learned to, to be a doctor, to take care of um, patients, to take care of my colleagues. It's really great here. It's an environment where um, you can be as independent as you feel confident in being, but anytime there's a question, um, there's a million people to ask. I think you want to go someplace where you know the people are going to be good and supportive, and you know that it's going to open doors for you, and this place will do that. This is um, really where a lot of us took our first steps, um, and, and I can't imagine having done it anywhere else.